Phil Wolf, and welcome to my podcast. We're going to do a series of Mission Impossibles, and we're going to focus on Andrew's announcement feature called Heartbeat. What is Heartbeat? Heartbeat allows you to do predictive and preventative maintenance. Heartbeat allows you to do diagnostics without process interruption. Basically, Heartbeat, the instrument basically keeps pinging itself saying, hey, am I okay? And the information you get is through a third party certified to UV standard. So when you get that information, you can be confident that the information is accurate. What does that do for you? What does Heartbeat do for you from an end user standpoint? It allows you to optimize your process and safety management strategies. Wait a second. Mission Impossible just came in. Bill Wolf, your mission should you choose to accept. Verify your flow meter is functioning properly and within spec. Your code word is heartbeat. So our role play today is on a heartbeat for a Coriolis meter. And this is the F-Series in front of us. We're going to do it on the F-Series. So the role play is, hey, a customer has reached out to us and said, hey, can you run a heartbeat to make sure that my Coriolis meter is within spec? So we're going to have Trent Hildebrand in my office work with me. He's actually going to do the, do the demo. And Trent is a new inside salesperson with Eastern Controls. He's been with us about six months. And this is literally the first time he's run through a heartbeat. So I'm going to fade out. And then you'll see me with Trent in a couple seconds, and we're going to run through a Coriolis heartbeat. Hey, this is Bill Wolf. Um, back here with Trent Hillbrand, and we're going to run through our Mission Impossible of going to a uh, heartbeat with our F Series Coriolis meter. Trent, um, I'll let you take it up from here, and uh, I'll be here to just kind of help and assess. The awesome. Time. Thanks, Bill. Uh, so, with the heartbeat technology, you can access it via a hardwired Ethernet connection or via wireless, wirelessly to your uh, ProMass transmitter here. Uh, you can do it from a laptop. And the first thing that you wanna do is make sure you add the uh, transmitter Ethernet IP to your laptop, very simple. And it's no secret, Endress has the same IP address for all the transmitters, it's universal, it's no secret. And we can put it up on the screen for you right here. It's 192.168. Dot one dot two one two. So once you've added that to your laptop as an Ethernet connection, first thing you want to do <laughs> is take off the lefty loose cover. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> and now with these two easy little tabs, you remove the display, and it presents the Ethernet connection. We're going to do a hardwired connection just for the sake of this demo. So I have my Ethernet connection to the laptop. I'm going to make the other connection right to the transmitter, easy as that. Now, how do you actually get to the heartbeat? It is just as easy as going on your web browser of any kind and typing in that same exact transmitter IP that I just talked to you about, which is 192.168.1.212, and you can see it right here on the screen. And you'll notice that it even auto-completed to the ProMass, the Endress ProMass. So now we are in the transmitter. We have made full access to the transmitter, and uh, for, for this demo purpose, our access code is just very easy like that. And this is your main menu for the transmitter. Uh, you'll notice just at a glance the diagnostics are okay. You have a number of options you can do here, uh, but for the heartbeat sake, we're going to go straight to the diagnostics. Start by going to the menu, clicking the diagnostics. You can see some information here, and then you're gonna scroll down and look at that heartbeat right there, right on the transmitter menu. Now, all you have to do is enter some uh, quick information by hitting perform verification. Make sure your date and time is, is roughly accurate. Uh, it is internal verification, and then all you have to do is to start the heartbeat. And Trent, again, we're doing this without process interruption without process interruption. All right, and it's just that simple. So now the 
heartbeat verification process has been completed. Verification has been done on the transmitter. And the last thing you want to do is right here where it says verification report. Now, while this is loading, uh, you'll notice that uh, when we generate this report, it is a very simple PDF. You'll see as it's downloaded right there. So this PDF, you can open it right from the Heartbeat program, and it shows you uh, the, the full report of your diagnostics. You can save this to your laptop, you can uh, share it with your team, or you, know, you can distribute it through your management software. Yeah, hey, so Trent, uh, you mentioned management software. We have a new asset management software with uh, Anderson Houser called Atelier and we're learning about that right now. So that could be something else if you have uh, uh, quite a bit of instruments with Andrus or a mixture of instruments, reach out to your local salesperson, talk to them about Natalia because it's a neat little asset management program uh, utilizing the uh, IIoT, National Internet of Things. So we're all, again, we're all learning about that just while I mention it right now. So, so again, you can take that document and download it to your current asset management system or however you manage your PMs or whatever, or step into a uh, utility type of concept with Anderson Houser. Exactly. So go ahead, Trent, sorry to, sorry to jump in. No, and that's, and that's about it. That's, uh, you guys just saw as, as easy, quick, and simple as a heartbeat verification is for our flow meter transmitters. That's all there is to it. And now you have a, a nice, clean, fully comprehensive report to show for it. So, if I'm a customer, our mission impossible was we went out, we ran a heartbeat on a Coriolis meter, and we checked out fine. So now our customer knows through a third party survey through TUV that my instrument is okay, it's functioning correctly. So folks, that's today's mission impossible. A little neat theme we're playing on. Look for some future episodes on some future mission impossibles. Thanks very much. Thanks very much, Trent, for uh, sharing my podcast with me today. And by the way, the guy behind the scenes is uh, my other inside salesperson, Kyle Boyce. And uh, just want to thank Kyle Boyce and Trent Gilbert for uh, sharing my podcast today. We'll see you in the future. Again, for that Mission Impossible.